So what is the future of boxing? Would you put your own kids in it? Would you want them fighting? I've died too many deaths with my brother. Uh, watching him, being there, you know, uh, the anxiety, the, the stomach turning like this, the nerve wracking, you know, the gray hair in my beard, the look. <laughs> <laughs> For me, myself, I wouldn't want my son to box. My wife says, you know what, if he wants to do it, let him do it. I says, no. At the end of the day, if he wanted to do it and he was serious enough to do it and he's not playing around to just to say, ah, you know, I want to box because it, my father was a boxer. I mean, you have to be serious about this thing. That's that's why Manny went far in this thing and that's why I think I went far because that's all I did. I mean, when I went to school, I played basketball for uh, for high school. But 90, 99.10% of the time, I was always in the boxing business. And that's it. Today, there's too many things. There's too many gadgets. Uh, you know, there's too many following, there's uh, YouTubers, there's Instagrammers, there's all this shit. There's no focus on one thing to do, you know what I mean? It's, it's hard, I think, for the kids today, you know? I read an article uh, uh, a couple of years ago about George Chavalo. Mm. Yes. You know, and somebody was saying, the, 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 the I forget the proper word in that they use, that this thing here is thick. It's thicker than regular people. I don't know what the the the, the skull. skull, the skull. Yeah, he's, a, he's a, they did a measurement. I don't know how they measured the skull from with that. You know, this is why he wasn't concussed and all this thing. I said, you know, how many beatings this guy took, yeah, and yeah. he his brain was still good. I mean, I think now uh, George has got to be in his eighties, getting a bit slower and older. You know what I mean? But hey, you figure by the time the guy was uh, fifty years old. The, the fights and the wars that he's been in, you know, you figure that, you know, uh, but uh, I don't think it's only the boxing aspect of the game myself. I don't think it's, I think it's what you do outside of the ring. You know, I spoke, I had a very interesting conversation with Bernard Hopkins, you know, one night we were together in the States and we sat down, my brother, him and a couple of people and he started, to, uh, when he stopped, forget about it. When this guy started to talk, Manny, forget about it. He takes over the room. Forget about it. He takes over. You can't... Uh, Bernard Hobbs is the former middleweight champion, undisputed middleweight champion in the world, yeah. right? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. This guy says he never he never parties. He never drinks. He trains like a monk. I said, what do you mean? He says, listen, when I was doing 15 rounds, he said, maybe I'm bleeding inside my body. So he sits in the back for an hour. This is from Bernard. I'm using his word. I think maybe I could quote almost 99%. I think how some of the athletes, and I'm not talking only about boxing. After competition, they go out. They drink. They drink again. Some guys, they start doing drugs. They're doing lines. They're doing all the wrong things. While the body has been traumatized, 12 rounds, whatever, you understand? Mm -hmm. And I think this thing has a big, it has a huge effect on the on athletes, uh, especially boxers. I believe this 100%. I, I, and you know what? You know, like Manny said to me the other day, he said, Howard, you're still the same. I, I, live, a, I live a clean life. I, you know, I try, I try to live a clean life. I'm not involved in these kind of things. And, uh, you know, I try to be like, uh, you know, like that. Like a monk. I wouldn't say a monk because I do have a few glasses of wine here and there. But, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm not involved in any other things. Uh, you know, I'm home. I'm, I'm in bed at night at uh, 1030. And, uh, you know. Jerry Tremble. Yeah, Jerry Tremble was a bad motherfucker. Golden boy. That's what they call Atlanta's Jerry Tremble. He hails from Vancouver, British Columbia.